okay, we're going to build on the previous skill and we're leading towards something more complicated. We're going to look at splitting a reaction, in this case, this one, into half reactions and balancing electrons. Um, you can read this, but it says for each of the following, we're going to find the oxidation half reaction, the reduction half reaction, the balanced overall reaction, and figure out how many electrons are exchanged, which for some later problems is going to be called N, where N is the moles of electrons exchanged in a balanced reaction. Mm -hmm. So to determine oxidation and reduction, I'm going to go through and figure out my oxidation states of each thing. Chlorine's alone, nothing written on it. It's a zero. Sodium here is a plus one and oxygen's minus two. It's an ionic compound and they're doing what we expect. Over here, sodium, let's undo that. Over here, sodium's a plus one and chlorine's a minus one and oxygen's a zero. Um, it's pretty normal that sodium's not doing anything over the course of the reaction, but here it is. So if I look now at what is changing charge, Chlorine went from zero to negative one. That's a reduction because negative one is lower than zero. Sodium didn't do anything. Oxygen went from a negative two to a neutral, which is an oxidation by going up in charge. I'm gonna split into half reactions. My re the first one it asked me for is my oxidation half reaction. My oxidation half reaction is O minus two becomes O2. I need to balance this. Oxygens need to be balanced. Now, I, if I want one oxygen to go from negative two to zero, it has to get rid of some extra electrons it has. How many electrons? Each oxygen needs to get rid of two electrons, which gives me a total of four electrons. Here's another way to think of it. My total charge on this side of the reaction has to equal my total charge on this side of the reaction. Right now, my total charge is negative four. And over here, my total charge is zero. I need to add electrons to one side of the reaction so that the charges are balanced. If electrons are negative, I add it to the side that I need to be more negative. So electrons are gonna go here. How many of them? Four. Now my total negative charge on the right is also negative four. This would be my answer to A. B wants the reduction half reaction. I'm going from Cl2 to Cl minus. I want to balance chlorines first. And now I need to balance my total charges. The total charge on this side before adding electrons is zero. The total charge on this side is negative two. So I need to add electrons to this side. How many of them? Two. That's my reduction half reaction. For C, what I want to do is I want to put these two back together in such a way that the electrons cancel. Right now, because the electrons that are produced by this reaction are consumed by that reaction. Right now, one reaction is producing four electrons and the other one's only using two. And what I want to do is I want to figure out what do I need to multiply each reaction by so that the number of electrons will cancel. If I multiply this whole reaction by two, now when it's combined with the above reaction, into an overall reaction, the electrons are gonna cancel. So now writing my overall reaction, I have two Cl2 plus two O minus two forms four Cl minus and O2. This would be my balanced overall reaction after I've gotten rid of the sodium that does nothing.
for D. How many moles of electrons were transferred in the balanced reaction? It's whatever the least common denominator is between this number and that number. How many electrons canceled out? Four. I have a couple for you to try. It looks like uh, my screen froze as I was writing n equals four. <laughs> 